As you can see, the fence panels all along this side, all covered in this horrible green mold and algae stuff, that you tend to get on north facing fence panels. So that's why those over there are still looking good. These are looking pretty rubbish to be honest. So we can't just paint straight over this mold and algae stuff, it's going to look awful. So we've got to look at where treating it before we actually put the preservative onto the fence panels. So let's go and have a look and see what materials and equipment we're going to need to do this job. Okay, well I've got everything I need here to treat the uh, algae on the fence panel. I've already mixed up one part household bleach to two parts water and that's in my kettle here ready to go. I'll be using this old paintbrush to apply it to the fence panel. If there's any real stubborn areas of mould and algae I'll be giving it a scrub with this scrubbing brush and to protect me from any splashes from the bleach I'll be wearing safety glasses and wearing my safety gloves. So I'm all ready now to apply this to the fence panel. Okay, so here we are. I'm ready to start applying the bleach solution to the fence panel here. Also got my scrubbing brush, which you might want to use if you've got some really heavy deposits of the algae and fungus, etc. and give it a good old scrub once you've applied the solution on top of it. Fortunately, on my panels here, they're not too bad, so I won't be needing this today, by the looks of it. Okay. So what I've done, you can probably see, is I've put some bungee cords around these little bushes to pull the branches in out of the way so I don't splash them with the bleach solution. And if I have any small shrubs or plants on the ground, I'd probably put like some bin liners over them or plastic bags just to protect them from the, the bleach going on them. Okay? Right, so when you're putting the bleach solution on, the thing to do is to not do heavy brush strokes with the brush because you don't want to be splashing it around all over the place. So just put a small amount on the brush, tip the brush back slightly, and you apply it to the fence panel with slow motions with the brush. So you're not going to be getting it all over yourself, all over the neighbour's cat or whatever as it's flying around all over the place. So just small brush strokes like this. Give a little tap and a little wiggle to get into the corners if you need to. What you'll find as you're brushing this stuff on, you do get an immediate effect. It does get rid of the smaller deposits of the algae pretty straight away. So what we're going to do is once I've completed coating the fence panel up, I'm going to leave it overnight before I put any further wood treat on top of it. I could just zoom in onto that area where I've just been putting the bleach solution onto it. I'm going to see that already it has made a considerable difference to that algae on the fence. So I'm going to carry on coating up the rest of this panel now and then we'll come back tomorrow morning and have another look at it and see what it looks like then. Hi, well let's have a look at that fence panel we treated yesterday with the bleach solution. Well, as you can see, there's been a dramatic transformation and all that mould and algae has now gone. So if we compare it to one that we haven't treated, so if the camera could zoom in on one of the other panels. So you can see there's a considerable difference between the two. So now I'm all set to apply my wood preservative to the fence panel.